So I have this student model here, which has name and second name. I already populated the database for this uh, model. We can actually check it out. And so as we already discussed several times, this object is a manager of the student model. And apart from uh, providing us different uh, useful methods like all, create, delete, it actually also provides the method row. And this method row actually allows us to execute uh, some SQL commands uh, related to this model. So basically, Uh, we can just uh, pass SQL operations here and uh, so for example we want to get all the students from student model and the table will actually uh, be called searching so it will be called app name model name and in our case it's searching student and uh, basically at this point we can just iterate that so we can iterate uh, the result of this query, SQL query, and we can see that actually, uh, though we passed uh, SQL command, we actually don't just get some, you know, list or dictionary. We actually uh, get the objects, get actual objects of this model, uh, because we uh, we, are, we are still uh, using this manager and also this query can be uh, indexed so we can get for example the first object of the result but of course um, even for example if you do something like that uh, using these comments we actually get the first result uh, of this uh, of this comment but the actual uh, database transaction will return us all the students so if we don't need all the students if we need just one student we need to say that that we limit uh, the result to one and in this case we will not uh, do any unnecessary operations here we actually can also omit some um, some fields here so for example we can say id and name for from searching student and here uh, we would actually for example if we say q0 name uh, we, we will actually uh, get the result uh, from uh, from already uh, performed operation but if we need to uh, get the second name then actually this uh, this query will be re-evaluated so first we just uh, got ID and name for each student but here we would uh, re-evaluate uh, this query it's not really visible from here and it can look like that actually uh, we got everything here including second name but actually not actually we got second name later uh, when we re-evaluated this query here uh, also you cannot omit uh, some stuff, for example, you can't omit primary key.
so you don't get error when you actually perform this operation but then when you are trying to get the objects uh, you will have uh, this error that row query must include the primary key uh, you can also for example uh, you can also for example use some kind of postgres operations on your fields for example postgres uh, have this Uh, Postgres has, uh, has this uh, lower function which will uh, get our name in lower cases so here for example we have this second object student John where the name of uh, John is actually uh, starts with uppercase letter but if we get uh, this lower name that we just defined uh, as the name uh, with combination with uh, Postgres function lower uh, we can see that uh, we actually can access the result of this Postgres function here uh, we can also for example pass some parameters like this pass them after comma and use this uh, s in order to actually uh, get uh, get this uh, query and we can actually see that this uh, this uh, last name though was passed and we can actually check that we only got the student with the second name though that's basically it for uh, this objects row method as you can see uh, this row method is actually very related to actual model but uh, for example sometimes we uh, might not have uh, the model at our hands so we might not uh, have this student or we might uh, do some operations uh, SQL operations not related to any models so in this case we actually can uh, can use this DB uh, connection function and we can actually use SQL cursor in order to perform different stuff so let's define cursor as connection cursor uh, also if you have several databases uh, you can you can import connections and uh, for example uh, here you would pass the name uh, of the database that you want to use and then uh, you would get the cursor uh, of course this uh, DB doesn't exist because I didn't prepare it uh, but uh, basically I just wanted to show you that uh, it's possible that you can actually use this uh, different database but in our case we actually use the default database and here uh, using this cursor we can actually define our queries to do that we say cursor execute and basically you can do uh, absolutely the same stuff as we did before for example get Uh, all the stuff from uh, searching student but as you can remember uh, when we actually used uh, this model objects uh, row, for, row method uh, we actually uh, got the result uh, in the form of actual model objects 
but here if we use the cursor we get just uh, just the list of values and also you can see it, they they are not even uh, in the form of dictionary so we don't actually know what is that what is that what is that it should be ID 12 name John second name Doe and uh, well there, there is a way to actually uh, get it in ter in form of dictionary so let's do uh, let's execute this again and then make this comment where we would get all the columns uh, from our cursor and then for each row in fetch all we would we would get this uh, dictionary and here you can see id 12 name john second name doe uh, i would if, if you actually uh, for some reason use this cursor in your work uh, then i recommend you to actually uh, make this a function and just pass a cursor and uh, return uh, the list of dictionaries but basically i think uh, this is all that i wanted to show you and i hope that this lesson was useful